We care for patients at all stages in their lives and ensure they receive the finest care. Yet there are times when one of the most fundamental healthcare practices, hand hygiene, may be overlooked. In the face of the growing rate of infections and infectious diseases worldwide, hospitals are at the center of infectious disease management. We must be extraordinarily vigilant and ensure leading, unrelenting infection control practices, starting with hand hygiene. One of the biggest threats to patient safety is something we can't see, germs that cause infections in the hospital. Cleaning our hands is the single most important way we can reduce these infections. Around the world, thousands of people die every day of infections acquired while receiving healthcare. London Health Sciences Centre and St. Joseph's Healthcare London are working together to improve hand hygiene practices. And we are not alone. We are part of a province-wide and worldwide effort to provide clean, safe care. To fight the spread of these infections, the World Health Organization and its partners launched a global patient safety challenge. Improving hand hygiene is also a priority of the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, the Canadian Patient Safety Institute, and Accreditation Canada. I always thought that antibiotic resistant organisms were something that patients acquire. Um, a little over a year ago, I became the patient. I acquired an infection in a central line, um, and the layer of complexity that it added to my course of treatment um, was something I hadn't expected. Um, there's pain, there's medication, uh, and there's fear. I don't know where or when I acquired this infection, um, but I do know that cleaning hands saves lives. Hand hygiene is everyone's responsibility. We work in an environment that is full of bacteria and viruses. While those working directly with patients are more likely to come in contact with bacteria and viruses, we all interact with one another. While walking down the hallways, meeting in cafeterias, or in conference room, the risk is always present. Remember, even if our hands are not visibly dirty, that doesn't mean they are germ-free. Our best defense is washing our hands so that we don't contaminate the environment, and the environment does not contaminate us. In a hospital setting, it's crucial that we protect our patients and ourselves by cleaning our hands properly. When hands are visibly soiled, it's necessary to wash them with soap and water. This includes taking the time to wash fingertips between fingers and the backs of the hands, followed by rinsing well under warm water. But I've learned that if hands are not visibly soiled, there's an even better way alcohol-based hand rubs. In fact, alcohol-based hand rubs are now the gold standard in hand hygiene. Even when gloves are used, we still have to clean our hands before we put them on and after we remove them. When providing care for patients, four key opportunities for hand hygiene help prevent the transfer of germs to patients, ourselves, and others. Patients shed skin cells that may contain germs into the immediate environment in their rooms. This area is called the patient environment, and it includes everything within the space defined by the bedside curtain or the entry door in private rooms, including the patient. Areas outside of the patient environment are called the hospital environment. The first opportunity for hand hygiene is when the healthcare worker enters the patient environment. 
Washing hands at this point helps prevent transferring germs from the worker's hands or from the hospital environment into the patient's space or directly onto the patient. It is important to wash hands for at least 15 seconds. This protects patients from getting germs from others. The second hand hygiene opportunity is immediately before an aseptic procedure. This occurs when the worker is opening a device that goes inside the patient, like an intravenous or a feeding tube, or when they are touching any natural opening in the body, such as the mouth. That may provide an opportunity for germs to get inside the patient. The third opportunity to perform hand hygiene is after potential exposure to blood or body fluids. For example, when handling a contaminated dressing or obtaining a specimen. This protects the healthcare worker from picking up germs and prevents further contamination of the patient environment. The fourth opportunity is when the worker is leaving the patient space and entering the hospital environment. This protects the worker from germs and keeps the patient germs inside the patient environment. In our jobs, there's often little time to spare. Alcohol-based hand rubs only take 15 seconds to use. That's less time than it takes to clean your hands with soap and water. We're all responsible for the safety of our patients and ourselves. We want everyone to feel comfortable asking us if we've cleaned our hands. It's just a reminder, not a criticism. We're all in this together with the goal of protecting not only the health of our patients, but our own health as well. If a patient acquires an infection, they may well have to be placed in isolation to prevent that infection from being transmitted to other patients. Isolating a patient produces several problems. First of all, there is no doubt that it's increased workload for the staff. Secondly, the quality of care may be impacted. And finally, often unknown to us, is the fact that many patients feel very lonely when they're isolated. Well, I went in for surgery about a year and a half ago and uh, was supposed to be in the hospital three or four or five days and out. Uh, went along okay for a day or two and then I got this staph infection. Uh, ended up, I was in hospital. I was transferred to a second hospital after a month, so I was in hospital for, I think, two and a half months. The staph infection that I caught damn near killed me. and. Uh, it turned my whole life upside down. Uh, it's affected all aspects of my life, be it physical, emotional, marital, family, uh, professionally. It's had a deep impact on my life. And uh, a year and a half later, I'm still in physio and still, in quotes, in trying to recover. Hand hygiene begins with you and me. Every person who enters a hospital today and does not clean their hands is putting patients, themselves, and their families at risk. When care providers don't follow the four moments of hand hygiene for each and every patient they care for, they put the patient at risk. We cannot rest until each care moment includes proper hand hygiene. Working together, we can make this happen. Thank you.